Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and it's time for Facebook Friday again. This is the second Friday. I am gone for the Stampin' Up! incentive trip to Greek and Italy. So I'm not back yet. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging uh, for two Fridays in a row with no projects. So this is my second pre-recorded Facebook Friday. Now I won't be back until Monday. Um, and then next week, next Friday, I will hopefully be live again. I'm going to show you all the amazing things that we get on the incentive trip you know stampin up spoils us gives us tons of gifts all kinds of fun stuff so make sure you join me next friday that is july oh what is that july 19th at two o'clock central okay hopefully we'll be live that day now today for this week's facebook friday i couldn't let any more time go by without using the over the moon stamp set this has been a really hot seller um, from the new catalog and you know these little cows are cute i like cute images um so if you like cute images this is definitely a stamp set for you and what i really like about it is it gives us a chance to use our stamp and blends but it's not too overly involved it's not going to take you forever especially if you need to make a bunch of something you know mass produce so that's what we're going to do today before we get started, I want to remind you of my ordering special while I'm gone. While I'm in Greece with Stampin' Up, any orders that are placed between July 4th and 15th, 2019, um, that are over $50 are going to receive the stamp cleaning pad. I didn't have this last week to show you, but this is our new stamp cleaning pad, and it is really great for taking stains off of your rubber stamp. So I'm going to send that as a thank you. Um, you're also going to get the July tutorial bundle for free. That is 12 uh, different tutorials from 12 different demonstrators. Uh, so you'll get that for free when I get back. You're going to earn a $5 Stampin' Up! bonus coupon for every $50 you spend. That comes from Stampin' Up! You'll be able to spend that in August. If you spend over $100, you're also going to receive a host set of your choice. Now the host sets, I probably should pull out the catalog and show you what host sets are. If you have a catalog, turn to the back. Starting at page 204, there are host exclusive sets. These are for anybody who hosts a workshop that's over $150. And so what I am doing is I'm collecting all of your orders kind of like a workshop. And then I'll use the host rewards to reward you, those of you who spend over $100 with a stamp set. So you've got several choices. Soft Spring, this one's very popular. New Wonders, this one, Time for Tags, I really like. It matches that tag punch we used last week, the Timeless Label Punch and then Believe You Can, which is really a beautiful set. It matches those um, nested stitch label dies. So you can pick whichever one. If you do decide to put in an order that's over $100, make sure that you email me just to let me know which stamp set you want, okay? Because as soon as I get back on Monday, one of the first things I'm gonna do is close up this order so I can get your goodies out to you quickly. Please make sure that you use this host code. That's how I'll know you want the freebies, okay? I won't know unless you use that host code. Okay, I think that is it. Remember one, one thing I do wanna remind you, while I'm gone, I won't be able to remind you, um, is this class is the deadline is coming up quickly. It starts with art. The deadline is June 17th and the class to go includes six projects as well as the full embellishment kit. You can get it with the stamps and, and dies or without. Please make sure you email me for that link. But also the direct link to the registration page is on the PDF for today's projects, okay? So if you, um, email me you don't hear back from me you can do that link too i am checking email while i'm in greece but to be honest i'm on vacation and so i'm going to really try to not do too much of that okay i think we're ready to work we're ready to stamp now today's project started with this one this was my stamp club to go card in june and um one of my members had emailed me and said, how did you make that? And I thought, duh, I totally should have made a video for that because it, maybe it's not as self-explanatory as um, I was thinking. So I am gonna show you how to make this cute card and then we're gonna make a, a gift card holder. If you recognize this, then that means you have a Chick-fil-A in your area. You know they do these funny little advertisements with the cows and they wear these funny signs. So I got a Chick-fil-A gift card and use the cows like Chick-fil-A does to make a gift card holder. And last but not least is a treat that I won't show you until the very end, okay? 
All right, let's get started. This um, card is going to use the punch we used last week, the delightful tag topper punch. And remember I told you to mark those little lines there. That's gonna help you kind of guide yourself. And to be honest with you guys, I eyeballed it. I didn't make any marks, I just eyeballed it. And they all came out pretty close. So if you trust yourself, go ahead and eyeball it. And what I mean by eyeballing is I'm sticking this in. Oh, this is a just a regular card base, four by um, four and a fourth by 11. And I have scored it at one inch. And er, I can't remember off the top of my head what this score line is. So go over to my blog and get that PDF so you'll know exactly, okay? So right here on this one inch, we're gonna stick this in. And what you can do is get a pencil and mark um, where you want the middle to be if you're worried about that, but I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna stick it in and punch, making sure it's just in the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Get it centered. And there we go, okay? So now, when we fold it in, those are gonna be pretty close. Can you see? That's pretty close. So go ahead and take your scissors and cut off that part. This one on the one inch side is the one that's going to, I have a fly buzzing my head today. He wants to be in the video. Um, that little one that was on the one inch side has that score line because you're gonna fold that one in. But this one is going to be the front of our card right here. Okay, see how that goes? All right, now let's do, let's see, let, what do we wanna do first? Let's do the stamping. All right, you're gonna get your, of course, the Buffalo check stamp. You guys know I can't not use it. And I'm gonna put it right here, and I, you can see where I've used it before on my grid paper. That will help me know um, if I'm trying to line up paper, where exactly to put the paper. All right, so I'm just gonna put this, I'm using a full sheet because I'm going to um, cut it down. And I'm gonna use real red ink. This is a half sheet of Whisper White cardstock. And what I mean is when I said a full sheet is that I just cut it in half. I'm not measuring what sizes I need until after I have stamped it. Okay, get up, stand up. When you're using your stamp apparatus, give it lots of pressure. Not bad, pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more time for good measure. I did a bunch of these for my stamp club to go, and not all of them were perfect, but I think that's okay with this gingham. It's kind of the look that you, you know, you're going for just kind of a rustic look. All right, I had to grab my paper trimmer. We're gonna trim this down. First, I think I'm just gonna cut out the full image. We're gonna cut it into two different pieces, okay? Now, both of them need to be four inches wide, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the whole thing at four inches. And then the first piece needs to be three and a fourth. And then the second one is two inches, okay? Two by four and three and a fourth by four. So on the end side, I've got a full whisper white piece that measures five and a fourth by four. And I'm just gonna put this in here. This is for you to write your sentiment. And then we'll put this piece right here on this end so it'll show sticking out. And then this cute little piece goes right there. All right, now I'm gonna grab my twine and tie it together. Now, this is your basic card construction for this. This is, I, I think this would be considered a simple, fancy fold. You could do anything you want. You could use any stamps you want, any colors you want, any, um, you know, event, birthdays, Christmas, whatever. So just keep that in mind. If the cows don't appeal to you, well, you've learned a fancy fold technique, okay? And just change it up, use whatever you want. Okay, now let's stamp that adorable little cow. I'm gonna use Memento Black. I have cut out a stitched Whisper White Circle, and this is the second largest, so not quite the biggest, the second biggest. And we're gonna color his spots in with dark, smoky slate. Now, I have mentioned to you guys before that the basic black Stampin' Blends are super black, 
they are dark, dark, dark. We are gonna use them in the next projects, but I wanted to show you a comparison so that you can see that you can, in fact, use the Smoky Slate if you feel like the black, it's a little almost intimidating, to be honest, because it is so dark. Um, it will cover up the dark um, black lines of your image. But as you can see, this gray, you know, will, will suffice for, um, for black and not be too overpowering. All right, we're gonna use Flirty Flamingo there and his little ears. Oh, I forgot to do his hair at the top. We'll do his hair like that. <laughs> He's so cute. And then I'm using um, Dark Daffodil Delight for his bell. All right. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. These This stamp set has really cute sentiments. You're utterly fantastic. Get it? Utterly. I know, it's very punny. Um, but there are several others on there that are cute. We'll use, I think we're gonna use two different ones after this. All right, we're gonna put that on there with a scalloped basic black circle that is just slightly larger. And with some dimensionals, we'll put it right there. Now we're gonna just create kind of a grass look. Get a piece of granny apple. This measures, I believe, and check the PDF for correct measurements, but I believe it's one by three and a fourth. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and fringe, fringe, fringe all the way down. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little strip of the Granny Apple Green DSP there. Whoops, it looks like it's a smidge longer, so we'll trim that. And then, last but not least, we'll put that grass right there. And I kinda like to make the grass have some texture, and it's overlapping that circle. And there you have it. So cute, what do you guys think? Very cute, I like it. I challenge you to use this card design for something else. Try something else. You could, of course, use it for, for this exact card, but why not look at your stamps and see what else you could create? Okay, let me clean up my mess a little bit, and we'll move to the next project. We're gonna do the gift card holder next. Now, I like I told you, <laughs> I really liked the Chick-fil-A idea. I kind of really spent some time racking my brain thinking about what we could use to go along with that cow. And the cows from Chick-fil-A, they always have signs that say, eat more chicken. So that's kind of the idea I went with, except I used a sentiment from the stamp set, party till the cows come home, happy birthday. Okay, let's do our stamping first. And we're gonna have to be a little bit tricky with this stamp set. I'm gonna get all of my papers out. Oh, they're all hiding right here. And when I say a little bit tricky, it's because <laughs> his head just wasn't far enough away from his body for me to really get that sign in there. Can you see that? So what I did is I stamped his body and his head separately. I know it's a little weird but trust me. So get some post-it notes and we're going to completely mask his head. Okay, so completely mask. I like these little skinny ones. Now wait, I think I went too far down. We wanna cover all of that. Okay, see how I've covered up his head. Now I'm gonna take my memento and take that off. I'm gonna come over here and stamp, there we go, okay, see? Now we're going to stamp it again. This time we just need his head over here on a scrap piece, okay? And let's do the little sign. We have, do, 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 do. we're gonna do it in memento black. Party to the cows come home. And this is a very tiny piece seven eighths by three fourths, I believe. And then I'm gonna take my um, 
crumb cake blend and draw two little like little holes and a line that goes up like that like it's the string going over his body okay okay now the last thing I wanted to do was take just a little bit of crumb cake ink on this sponge and kind of ink those edges so that it'll pop off a little bit won't blend right into the little white cowl since it would be white on white okay now grab your stamp and blends this time I am going to use the light basic black and we're going to color his spots on the circle for his body and then we'll color his head on the other piece now I'm sticking with black and white cows this whole time but I know there are lots of different ways to color these cows but the chick-fil-a cows are in fact black and white so we have to stay true to those little chick-fil-a cows chick-fil-a around here is extremely popular in fact we eat it quite often more often than I'd like to admit um, but and I know that some of you don't have chick-fil-a's near you but if you do this is just a really fun treat all right so that was light basic black this is flirty flamingo again for his udder and for his nose his ears and let's see what else do we need we're gonna take no we'll save that to the end I think okay I think we've got all that now get your scissors and you're gonna fussy cut his little head I know that sounds terrible doesn't it cut off your excess and go around his little face and you can stay on the outside of the black line because that the background is white so any white on the outside of the black line will just blend right in and you don't have to worry whoops you don't have to oh I'm not doing a very good job cutting his ear off you don't have to worry too much about your cutting when you stay on the outside of the black lines there we go all right so we're gonna put him here but let's do this first so grab a dimensional and put it right there on him like he's wearing the sign and then I'm gonna take that and just extend that little line up like that all right so it's like the little ropes going over his body and then we're gonna put this over here coming off a little bit all right there we go now see right there where I'm missing that stamped line you can just take your marker and just very carefully continue that line on like that there we go now take your crumb cake and add a line where he is stamping we don't want him floating in air so just add kind of a, a baseline for him there all right and there you have your cute little cat okay let's stamp the inside piece and then we'll put it all together we're going to stamp happy birthday and by the way this happy birthday comes from here's a card it's a great stamp set we're just using that happy birthday and we're going to stamp it in real red and then a few tufts of grass down here with granny apple and this is from the little cow set from the over the moon stamp set all right and then i took my well goodness gracious i'm getting ink all over me today i'm going to take my granny green stamp and blend and just add a little bit of color to each of those okay all right let's put it together now remember the measurements are over on the pdf i've already done a lot of it ahead of time this folds in like this we've left a, a quarter inch in between here burnish those lines so that it'll give you enough room to close it we're gonna punch a circle with a two inch circle punch just a part of the circle right here to help us get out that gift card from there okay and then over here we're gonna just adhere this flat I thought about putting a second pocket there and you could if you wanted to slip that piece in but I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm going to put our little sentiment right there okay now 
this guy. I'm going to use tear and tape here because it is thinner than Fast and Fuse. Fast Fuse. And we want to leave room for our gift card. So put that tear and tape there. Make sure our gift card fits and then you can close it. You could use liquid Tombow too if you needed it to be thinner. I don't know, are all gift cards standard? Are they all the same size? All right, see that's where that gift card slides in. All right, now I have a piece of DSP. This is early espresso. Oh, I kind of like that side too. I already put adhesive on it. Let's see, is that the front? Yep, right there. And then some linen thread and we're going to wrap this around several times in kind of a crisscross fashion three four and we'll tie it right here this is a great um, gift for a guy masculine sometimes it's hard for us to come up with things for guys even though it has a bow I think it's still you know masculine that linen thread is very um, masculine to me all right, last but not least, let's add our cute little cow right there. And there's your gift card holder. All right, you guys, what do you think? Cute, right? And I really kind of spent some time thinking about what we could put on those little signs, um, but I ended up sticking with a sentiment from the stamp set. Uh, but you could look to see what stamps you have. You could use our lab one of our labeler alphabets that we had in the past, if you have that, to create your own words. And the sky's the limit, really, right? Okay, we've got one more project. Let me get everything out of the way. And we will get started on that one. It's our 3D this time. And it says, how's it going? <laughs> Can you guess what's inside? Of course, cow tails. And I found these cow tails at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Look, the Dollar Tree. So they're cow tail minis, and we three of them will fit in, in one of these boxes, okay? Pretty cool, so that is at the Dollar Tree. All right, let's pull everything over so I don't have to keep reaching. Let's start by making the holder, okay? We are going to also use another stamp set to create those spots, which I'll show you in just a second. All right, so get your Simply Scored. This is a seven and a half by six inch piece of thick Whisper White. And on the long side, we're gonna score at three and three and a half, six and a half and seven. Then turn it and score the short side at half an inch, one inch, and five and a half. Okay, now before we do anything else, we're gonna add some cow spots to our little guy. And I am using these two blobs right here from <laughs> Love What You Do. Aren't they perfect? I looked at a lot of my stamps and there are quite a few stamps that could be used as cow spots. So if you don't have this stamp set, don't worry, you can look around and see what else you have. Um, even just polka dot, black and white polka dots would be just fine. All right, so let's just kind of all over, and I am using Memento Black for no reason other than I have it out. And I like to use Memento Black with my photopolymers. I find that this stays on, reacts poorly with the photopolymers, so I don't like to use that unless I'm watercoloring and I absolutely have to. All right, there we go. now. Do I have my bone folder? I do. Let's fold it all. You guys, I am covered in ink. And green ink, what did we do that was green? And it doesn't even look like it's the granny apple green. Who knows, what was I doing before this? Something with dark green. Okay, now we're gonna do some cutting. This, the top part that has the two tabs, that's your top, okay? So I want you to start by, and this is gonna seem weird, um, here is the side that has one and two, right? We're gonna, that's gonna be the left side. Over here on the right side, I want you to cut out those first two big sections. Okay, we don't need those. Then you're gonna cut this, I'm gonna get my little scissors again. Cut this small square right here. And cut that tab like that. 
Okay, now this one, same thing. We're gonna cut off these two. And then cut, that's that one square right there. And then we're gonna cut this right there, like that, okay? Now cut, actually, no, we're not gonna cut that. We're gonna do something different to that in a minute. Um, now come over here and cut this one square out, and then cut each of these score lines up to the horizontal score line, okay? Now this box is gonna fold in like this. We're gonna create a little indent here. Let's see, did I remember to grab my, yep, I did, look at that. My one inch circle punch right in the middle. I'm gonna do half a circle like that. Now for these, I wanted to round them. So I'm using the detailed trio punch and I'm gonna have to fold that under, slide that in and punch. Same thing over here, slide those, fold it up so you can get that corner deep in there and you've got a rounded tab. So this is what your piece ends up looking like. I know sometimes I like to stop the video to see exactly how I'm cutting it. And I could put it like that. Here was the two tabs and the two tabs on he on this side. All right, let's put it together. Um, let's use tear and tape for this one. I'm gonna put tear and tape right here across this side tab. And peel that up. I'm not sure if you guys can hear my girls in the other room. They are enjoying summer thoroughly, playing video games until the sun sets. Luckily, they also have swim team and piano and some other things, but my goodness, when, they're, when they are at home doing nothing, they are playing video games. This summer, it is back to, we've gone back to Minecraft. They love Minecraft. All right, so I'm gonna fold this in, and I actually did that wrong, but that's okay. Just a little bit of adhesive needed there on the back one, and we'll put a lot across this one. I always like to fold in the front tab last so that we have a smooth finish on that edge. Okay, so fold that over. And there's your box. So let's see, where are our cow tails? I don't know if I've ever eaten a cow tail. I need to open one and see how it tastes. Very cute. Fold those tabs in and fold that one in. And there's your box. Not too tricky, not too difficult. Now let's color our little cow. And you guys, we're gonna fussy cut this guy. If you don't like to fussy cut, I totally get it. You could just stamp him on an oval, okay? But I like to fussy cut, as you may have noticed. And we're gonna fussy cut him. So let's bring back our basic black and I'm gonna color the spots. Oh, nope, I think I didn't, I think I got smoky slate this time, but that'll be fine. Um, let's see, a spot here and his tail and his hooves. I don't know what color cow hooves are, but this guy's gonna have black cow hooves. Okay, now orange boots, pumpkin pie. These blends really just make this so easy. Quick and easy. There we go, I'm gonna do the center right there of the flower. And Daffodil Delight. Of course, you can change up the colors. I decided to stick with the colors of the cow tails, the orange and black, but you know, do whatever you'd like. And instead of flirty flamingo this time, I'm gonna use petal pink for his nostrils and his ears. Oh, you know what else I forgot? It's a granny apple right here. All right, time to fussy cut. This time I'm gonna start by just going all the way around, getting all this excess paper off. But I am gonna save that because we're gonna use that in a minute. And then I'm just gonna quickly go around, hopefully I don't do it too quickly, and mess up. You know, I'm making this video more than a week ahead of time. So as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, I'm wondering what I'm doing right now over in Greece. 
It will be Friday, which will be the second to last day. We will be in Catacolone, Greece, which I believe is the birthplace of the Olympics. And that is one day that we just don't have anything scheduled. We're just gonna get off the ship and wander around. That's one of my favorite things to do in Europe and on cruises. You know, I, I do like um, scheduled organized excursions where you have a tour guide, but I also just like having the freedom to walk around, to look at stores, to sit and people watch. We did that in, in Italy the last time we went on the Mediterranean cruise and it was just so relaxing and really the most memorable parts. So hopefully this year we have the same luck. I mean, you really probably can't go wrong, right? Well, I guess you could go wrong, but <laughs> we're gonna pretend like we don't. I've done lots of reading and I have things marked out for us to go and find, so hopefully we find them easily. Now I have cut out a circle, um, a circle, a, a heart, a stitched, um, be mine stitched heart from Pumpkin Pie. Now I'm gonna grab my die cut machine and we're gonna emboss this with the wood plank embossing folder. I thought that would be perfect for the cow. Now remember I told you last week, our 3D folders, if you buy them new um, from this new catalog, you're gonna need this 3D embossing um, plate because the other one is not going to be thick enough for it. However, mine is old, so we don't need it. We just need the regular one, but if you, order it new it will come in the new 3d 3d design which you won't really notice much of a difference it will still give you the same result it'll just be a little bit different thickness so if you buy it new make sure you add on this this um emb 3d embossing folder plate okay let's put our little guy on here with a couple of dimensionals isn't that neat, that wood grain embossing folder is a great one. Now let's stamp. Cows it going. <laughs> you know, I think we all have a friend who loves cows, right? We can all think of one person, maybe two people who just, we just would need to make this treat for them just because. This would be great for a little party favor if you were having maybe an outdoor fun, you know, like a um, a picnic or um, a farm birthday party would be fun for, for a little one. All right, we're going to put this. Uh oh, I hope my dimensional isn't too thick. Let's see. I maybe should have gone with a mini dimensional. Oh no, we're okay. All right, let's put it on our box and we're almost completely done. Can you believe it? Now, hopefully, you guys have been following me on Facebook. And um, I will be posting pictures mostly on, on my Facebook, um, Pink Buckaroo Stampers group from our incentive trip with Stampin' Up. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what we're doing, make sure that you check in over there. Here are the mini library clips again. I'm becoming quite obsessed with these. They are perfect because they're tiny and they don't bulk up too much. The ones we had before were a little bit too big for cards. Well. If my fingers would work, there we go. <laughs> it's really not that hard. And then last but not least, I have pulled our um, sparkle black ribbon. This came out last year during Halloween. Um, and I always think of that cute little witch every time I use it, but it works for non-Halloween projects too. And a glue dot. Where are, have we not even used glue dots yet? Wow, that's unusual. And we'll stick it right there. Let's get that little piece off. There it is. And we're done. So what do you guys think? Have you enjoyed Facebook Friday today? It's been a little funny for me to record it and not be able to talk to you guys as I go, but I hope you like these projects. Remember the PDF will be over on my blog when this goes live. So will that post. And your ordering incentive you have until Monday, July 15th, 2019 at midnight 
to put in an order using this host code to get all the freebies I'm offering. Thank you guys so much. I am always forever grateful for all of you. And I look forward to sharing my Stampin' Up! Greek Islands memories with you next Friday. I will see you then. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.